Last time we spoke about how bacteria can't cross the dialyzer membrane. Today, let's go even smaller, albumin. On paper, albumin is about 7 nanometers in size. And to understand the concern, dialyzer pore diameter range from a few nanometers in low flux membranes up to roughly 10 to 20 nanometers in the newest high cutoff designs. So, why does an albumin leak out? Let's break it down with a bit of dialyzer membrane physics. First, albumin isn't a rigid 7 nanometer bead. It is a flexible ellipsoid protein that can stretch to 14 nanometer and it also carries a shell of water around it. So its effective size is already larger than most pore pathways. Second, albumin is strongly negative and most dialyzer membranes are made negatively charged using sulfonation. So these two negative charges ripple, creating an electrostatic barrier that pushes albumin away from the pore entrance. Third, even if albumin reaches a pore, the inside is not a straight tunnel. Dialyzer membranes form a 3D maze with bends, turns and narrow internal choke points smaller than the nominal pore opening. So albumin simply can't orient and squeeze through these tight passages. Fourth, as blood flows, proteins lightly coat the membrane through van der Waals forces or hydrophobic interactions. And we call it membrane fouling. These coating tightens the functional pore size even further. And at last, we have pore size distribution. Dialyzers usually don't have one fixed pore size. They have multiple. Even in mid cutoff and high cutoff membranes, most pores are still on the smaller side. Only a tiny fraction are large enough for albumin and almost none reach the theoretical maximum diameter. So albumin has to find one of these rare large pores, beat the charge barrier, align perfectly and navigate the internal maze for it to be expelled into the dialysate. And this combination is extremely unlikely. This is why albumin has a very low sieving coefficient. So in routine dialysis, albumin retention is more than 99.9%. So your albumin stays exactly where your body needs it and not in the dialysate.